Greetings, incredible LTDE 5305 students. Welcome to module week six of the course in which we will focus upon creating content curation tools. Let's go ahead and begin by exploring the learning resources available this week. In this module, you will have the opportunity to continue developing a digitally based instructional unit with fully online lessons, this week creating another interactive assessment piece. You will create a content curation tool, such as a subject sampler or treasure hunt, that guides learners through the process of utilizing reliable, valid online resources to answer higher order thinking questions. So you have had the opportunity to use Pinterest as a platform for curating content that you've found online. And now this content will be presented to the students in an organized format in order that they will be able to ponder higher order thinking questions as a means of learning new knowledge and skills. So we will continue to design a digital resource for use in instructional settings, construct a fully online lesson as part of the design of a digitally based instructional unit. You'll want to explore these resources, including one resource that focuses upon scavenger hunts using Google Forms, as well as scavenger hunts searching for treasure on the internet. And we know that part of helping our students learn to navigate online resources includes helping them learn to identify valid and reliable resources, as well as relevant resources for their learning experience. This website also explores subject samplers and how they promote effective thinking. And finally, this video provides an excellent overview of content curation within learning endeavors. Let's now look at the assignments for module week six. You will want to begin by engaging in this discussion forum. Within this discussion forum, you will explore examples of subject samplers as well as treasure hunts, which are both content curation tools for learning. As you explore these examples, you'll want to consider the following questions. First, why might an instructional designer create a subject sampler? as well as why might an instructional designer create a treasure hunt? And as you explore both treasure hunts and subject samplers, you'll want to consider what these tools have in common and what differences you notice between the subject sampler and treasure hunt examples. After you've posted your initial thread comparing and contrasting these tools, please reply to at least two colleagues' posts. Your reply should be substantial and include references to the reading and video assignments this week. Please also consider these questions. Is there a particular thread you agree or disagree with? If so, why? And is there a point that a classmate could have expanded upon a bit more? We are ultimately engaging in a reciprocal learning experience, and so we want to encourage our colleagues to expound upon their thinking within the discussion forum in order that we can learn as much as possible from one another through engaging in this experience. Let's now also look at the assignment for this week, which is to actually create a student learning content curation tool. You will utilize the resources that you acquired as you were creating your Pinterest scrapbook, and so you will not need to go searching for new resources. You are welcome to find new resources if you would like to use them, but you are also free to use all that you have already acquired through creating your Pinterest scrapbook. So again, you have examples to explore, and after exploring these examples and comparing and contrasting them within the discussion forum, you will be ready to begin creating your own subject sampler or treasure hunt. It is your choice. 
you will want to utilize Weebly as your platform for creating your subject sampler or treasure hunt. And ultimately, this subject sampler or treasure hunt will be linked to your Master of Science in Learning Technology and Design portfolio. It will be incredibly exciting to see what you design over the coming week and to think of how you will utilize this within your future teaching and learning professional endeavors. God bless you all. Have a wonderful week ahead, and I will look forward to seeing you online.